pretty good morning, Michigan. <laughs> and I have to tell you that I am incredibly humbled and privileged to be standing before you as Lieutenant Governor of the great state of Michigan for four more years. Yeah. We have so many people to thank for this victory that we won together. And I start first and foremost with the most important thank you, and that is to my wife, Ellen. My wife, my babies, Garland, Emily, and Ruby, my parents, are my, my, my family, we all love the state of Michigan. And I thank you for loving me, for, for supporting me, for supporting all of us. Um, this is truly a team victory. And I want to thank Gretchen Whitmer. Who you're, who you're, you'll obviously hear from in a minute, but this is really, again, this is something that we all do together. And this victory belongs to all of us. It belongs to every Michigander who made their voice heard in this unprecedented election, this record-breaking decision-making process that we all just walked through. But think about the lives that we have and will impact and the stories that we have and will change together working with people who will be able to go back to college, to dust off their dreams of walking across the aisle, becoming graduates, and supporting their families with better paying jobs and stronger careers. The family have to worry about finding affordable, accessible, reliable childcare, or whether the water that comes out of their sink is safe to drink dream their biggest, tallest dreams. Right. Know that here in Michigan, we are working with them every day to be successful. That has inspired us and will continue to inspire us to build a state that is not defined by passivity, that's not defined by pessimism, but as defined instead by possibility. A Michigan we're a skinny kid from Detroit, the east side, for those of you who don't know, who loves technology and people, can become the first black lieutenant governor of the state, who can be lieutenant governor for another four years, who can continue to work with all of the tools and resources and partnerships that government provides to everyone in Michigan on the internet. Where a smart young woman from Grand Rapids, the daughter of Frank Democrats and Millican Republicans. Those Democrats and Republicans together to get things every working in Michigan. This is a Michigan that is and always has been, and with our work we believe always will be a place where dreamers, innovators, entrepreneurs, everyday people, all of us with ideas can come together to do unbelievably extraordinary things. Our vision for Michigan and its future is big. It is big enough to include all of us, every last one of us, from every walk of life, in every station, in every place, in every corner. And together, we can make sure that the world knows that if you seek a pleasant place, or as our state motto says, a pleasant peninsula, look about us here in Michigan. Come here to Michigan. This is the place to grow, the place to make it happen, the place to innovate and invest to grow your business, to build a new partnership, to build a new relationship. Let us lead, build the connections that we've made, the discoveries in science, medicine, technology, and technology. And bring every voice to an even bigger table to build an inclusive and prosperous Michigan that we all can be proud to pass on to our children. 
Let us keep standing as tall as we are. I had to get it in three times. Let's do this for the state that we love. So thank you. Thank you. And it is my deep honor to once again bring here to this microphone and re-present to the state of Michigan my partner in public service, my friend, the still governor of the state of Michigan, <laughs> Gretchen Whitmer. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Michigan. It is good to be with all of you, and I see all the people who worked so hard, and I thank you for everything that you've done. You know, holding this office has been the honor of my life, and I'm so grateful to have had this opportunity for the last four years. This victory reminds us all that our governor's office does not belong to any person or political party. It belongs to all of us, the people of Michigan. So no matter why you went to the polls or who you voted for, I thank you for participating in our democracy. I want to first thank some of the folks that helped me get here. First, my family, my daughters, Sherry and Sydney, who I'm sure are still in bed, <laughs> my husband, Mark, my stepsons, all of whom I love very much, my sons, both of whom are here in the front row, my sister Liz and my brother Richard, who have kept me grounded and make me laugh and are quick to respond to my 502 in the morning text messages. And my father, who like my father, probably is not up yet, um, but he's a gr wonderful grandfather to my girls. And I also wanted to thank um, my do the, the father of my daughters, Gary, and his wife, Allison, for helping me raise these incredible. To my partner in governance, Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist, he is the best I could have ever asked for, and I am proud to call him a partner and friend. And as we think about the historic nature of yesterday, we know that um, this is a, a moment where people have reaffirmed that fun, focusing on the fundamentals, building a Michigan where every person can get ahead, is what really matters right now more than ever. I want to congratulate the ballot initiatives, all of which were successful. I want to congratulate the Secretary of State, Attorney General, and of course my friends in the State Senate and the State House. Congratulations. <laughs> And I've got to thank all of the incredible people that have helped me govern through the last four years. No one does any of this alone. And, um, and um, I've got one of the most phenomenal teams there is. And I thank every single one of them for the work that they do. And of course, the campaign team. We've been running two incredible operations for the better part of the last couple of years. And um, I thank you all. I want to thank all the organizers, the local leaders, the faith leaders, and volunteers who knocked doors made calls, wrote letters. Thank you for your time and energy. It's hard to believe that it's been four years. In some ways it seems a lot longer and in other ways it seems a lot shorter. But I told you four years ago that we would focus on the kitchen table issues, drinking water, affordable health care, education, and of course fixing the damn roads. What I did not anticipate, which none of us could have, were the historic challenges that we would face over the four years. What I learned through everything we face is that tough times call for tough people. And if there's one thing that Michiganders are, it's tough. Together we got through all the challenges that were thrown our way and we made historic progress to build a stronger future for everyone. Across our state I've met Michiganders who are chasing their dreams because of a tuition-free opportunity, starting a business with a critical grant, going back to work thanks to quality affordable child care. Shelby from Detroit who is getting her associate's degree in nursing at Wayne County Community College, tuition free, thanks to the Michigan Reconnect. Or Melissa from Grand Rapids, who is paying a third of what she used to pay for daycare, thanks to our TriShare child care program. Matt, who said the forthcoming $2.36 billion battery plant creating 2,300 jobs in Big Rapids as a result of our work on economic development, is so excited about the biggest boom his city has seen in a generation. And Tula from Bridgman, who is grateful to, for our completion of US, 130, or US 31 in her backyard, ensuring she can get where she needs to go safely. 
and every single one of those incredible Spartans, Wolverines, and college students across our state who waited in line for hours yesterday to register to vote and to move our state forward. These stories remind us why we do this work, to make people's lives better. Today we celebrate and hopefully get a little bit of rest. <laughs> and yes, I'm speaking for myself and all of you on that one. But best of all, we get to keep doing this work, serving the public in our beautiful home state. January 1 is less than 60 days away and I am committed to having a productive session through the end of this year. And then we're gonna hit the ground running for term two. Over the next four years, we will continue growing our economy by competing for projects to make more cars, semiconductors and clean energy here in Michigan. We'll keep fighting to repeal the retirement tax so seniors can keep more of what they've earned. We will protect the Great Lakes for generations and ensure that every Michigander can pursue their potential from preschool to post-secondary. And we'll keep fighting like hell to protect fundamental rights as they've continued to be under assault across the nation. We made huge strides yesterday, but that's important to continue as well. I won't make any predictions for the next four years, but I can promise you this. We will make Michigan a place where you can envision your future, a state where anyone, no matter who they are, where they come from, how much money they have in their pocket, who they love or how they identify, can thrive right here. And while I'm optimistic about our future, I know that progress is not inevitable. So I have an ask for every one of you. For the next four years, I ask you to believe in Michigan, to work with us and believe in our state. If we do, I know there is nothing we can't accomplish. We're following in the footsteps of Americans who stepped up to move us forward. Our story is defined by mo movements for women's rights and civil rights and LGBTQ rights. And our lives have been shaped by generations of Michiganders who unionized and fought for better pay and benefits. That is our spirit. Ordinary folks who accomplished extraordinary things while facing seemingly impossible odds. People who recognize that progress is a team sport, not a spectator sport. People like you. We know that every generation faces setbacks on the road of progress. But we also know that each generation is defined by its response to those challenges. So when we face tough times, remember, you're a Michigander. And that means you've got grit, it means you don't shy away from hard work, and you fight for family, friends, and community, no matter who you're up against. Over the next four years, let's build a Michigan where every person is treated with dignity, can enjoy their personal freedoms, and chart their own path toward prosperity. I promise to be a governor for all of Michigan. I promise to work with anyone who wants to get things done and compete and win against anyone. We're gonna move this state forward. We're gonna move this state forward and I am excited about the work we will continue to do together. So I thank all of you for um, a, a great opportunity ahead of us. Michigan's future is bright and we are about to step on the accelerator. Thank you.